Hey. So first off, I got my hair cut. What do you think? When I first got it cut, I truly hated it. But I feel like the first day after being a, like a stylist, they never really do it or style it the way that I want. And now that I've put like my Velcro rollers in, I'm in love with it. It looks so healthy. But anyways, to the point of this video, um, I kind of wanted to make this channel mostly like budget friendly stuff um, because I, like many other people, am not swimming in money and don't really have the opportunity to be getting like $50 products, um, especially when uh, I just, I feel like there's so many like amazing drugstore products out there, but I thought that it would still kind of be beneficial to talk about like high-end products that I buy like once in a blue moon um, and talk about like what I feel about them because if you are gonna spend the money on something that's more expensive it's best to know that it's actually worth the amount of money that you're paying. I like so many other people am just truly an aesthetic queen like I love Too Faced cosmetics because Too Faced is just I mean they speak to me with their packaging and even if the product sucks I probably still love them because of the packaging. So I had a $50 coupon from Sephora and then I still had like a leftover um, I think like 40 bucks on a gift card from my Christmas present from last year so I went to Sephora I went in with my heart set on this love palette and even though I had no idea if it was gonna be good or not I felt it was worth the risk because I did have a gift coupon and I am currently wearing these shadows um, and if you would be interested in seeing this in a makeup tutorial like please do let me know first let's rate this on packaging because I feel like you can't have Too Faced cosmetics without talking about the packaging I love slash hate the box uh, for some reason I just I mean it's beautiful obviously but it's kind of slightly slightly tacky looking to me but that's not really what I'm focusing on here what I'm focusing on is the actual palette and the second I opened this I was like really surprised at how like sturdy this felt and how like well made this felt I'm used to getting like five dollar palettes at the drugstore when you open it it comes with your shadows which oh, is that not the most like beautiful packaging though I am really just such an aesthetic queen and this is just this just speaks to me but it comes with I think that there's 15 shadows in here um, and then you have a waterproof um, pencil eye pencil I believe yes perfect eyes waterproof eyeliner um, I probably won't be using this because I'm not a big fan of like pencil eyeliner um, but the first thing I noticed was how like pigmented they looked I personally like adore the like little like heart patterns that are in the shadows I'm sorry if you hear construction my father's doing construction on the stairs so for aesthetics rating I will give it a 10 out of 10 really I truly don't think that they could have done anything else to make this even more beautiful. Um, with the gold like accent and this like really pretty mirror, which I never actually use mirrors from palettes, but still it's handy if you do. It's got like really nice detailing up here, um, and it just feels like it's very very well made. I love the way that they broke up the shadows. Now to talk about what really matters here, which is of course um, the actual like longevity of the shadows, um, how well it goes on the eyelid, etc. Um, I was both pleased and not pleased. There are certain shadows in here that don't really have a lot of pigment. Um, I used this section today and I think I might have also used that color. Yes, I did. I, I can see a brush mark in there, so yes, I did. Um, honestly, with the exception of this color right up here, which they say the names on the back, that one is called Smitten. With the exception of Smitten, every color I used today, I was thoroughly impressed. Um, they're super, super pigmented. They go on very easily. You really don't need a lot on your brush, so I do imagine this is gonna last me quite some time. And I love that even with the shimmery shades, um, you still get, because I find sometimes when you have like a shimmery color, you, it's mostly just like surface shimmer. It's not actually like in the powder. You don't get a lot of matte in here. So if you are somebody who loves matte shades, forget this palette, it's not for you. This is for someone who loves shimmer. So when it comes to the actual pigments, 
um, and the shadows themselves. I'd say I'd give it um, an 8 out of 10. Uh, it's by no means terrible, but there definitely is room for improvement. But again, nothing's perfect except this packaging, of course. I like it. I think that I'd probably purchase it without a gift coupon. Um, in Canada, and I'm not sure if it's the same in the States, but I got my palette for, I believe, $60. It could make a really, really good gift for the holidays or even birthdays or, or whatever because the packaging itself is just like a little present and I love it. It's so pretty. I have to stop talking about the packaging. I'm not, I didn't buy it for just the packaging, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you found this um, informative and I will see you again later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah.